In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape to warp your text. So we're going to put some text on the screen. We're going to click our text tool. We're going to type the word and and select our selector tool. We're going to make sure our arrow is highlighted and while holding control, we're going to drag it so it keeps everything proportionate. We're going to double click on our text and I'm just going to use the impact font. Now in order to do this, we're going to need a path. So we're going to have to go path, object to path, we're going to go object, ungroup, and then we're going back to path and union. Then we're going to go back to path again and select path effects. Over here, we're going to select this arrow key, the plus sign, and we're going to select envelope deformation and we're going to add it. You have several options over here on the right, so we're going to start with the top bend path. You'll notice when I selected that, these two nodes came on the end. You can just move them up to warp our text. And you can also go in a little and see this green line right here. And we can also take that with when that little hand comes up and warp it even more. And we can take the little circles connected to our nodes and bring it back down however we like. And we can go anywhere along this green line and move it. Now we'll do our bottom bend path. We can do the same thing here, just select our nodes and move them around and we can again along the green line. And I'll show you the right bend path and then the left bend path just so you guys can see how we can do it. It's pretty easy. Then on the left bend path, you can just warp it however you want it to look like. And then once we're done, we'll go back to path, object to path, and that will keep everything that we just did in place. Now, as always, shrink it back down to fit inside this rectangle here, so that way when we import it to design space, it will well, it won't be way off the mat. It will be in a place that we can easily see it. We'll go to File, Save As, you can save it however you'd like, and then make sure you select Plain SVG, and you can save it, and you're done.